Oh, wow. I just want to fall back with my nagas and do some uplifting, some inspiration. And I know we all got a lot to do. You know, I got a lot to do. We all got, you know, it's so much on our plates, so much we're dealing with. Uh, relationships, man, and trying to understand, understand people, ourselves, you know, uh, our walk with Hawa, all this information we are, you know, deciphering, man, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Um, it's a lot to let go of what you think you know, what you thought you know, what you thought you knew, uh, recalibrate, you know what I'm saying, empty your cup and all that. It takes a lot of energy. You get through the week, you're trying to keep your Shabbat. You know, you might still be getting jammed up trying to keep your Shabbat, man. That's all right, man. Just keep going. You might be trying to exercise and get on that flow, man, and, you know, change your sleep schedule up or, you know, do different things with your droplets, with your children, hit different checkpoints. Just know we're here for you. Drop Nation's here for you. We appreciate you rocking with us and being patient with us in all different ways, supporting us and, uh, we support you, man. We were doing this together, man. So all that, man. Fall back, man. Let's get cozy. Let's fall back into some Proverbs chapter three and just get this message from our great creator, our great spirit, our great framer, shaper, our great Ama, our great Abba. You know what I mean? And let's surf the wave with this wisdom, man. Allah. Proverbs chapter three. My son, forget not my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and years of life and peace will they add to you. Let not kindness and truth forsake you. Bind them about your neck Write them upon the table of your heart. So shall you find grace and good favor in the sight of Hawa and man. Trust in Hawa with all your heart. Lean not upon your own understanding. And all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear why depart from evil. It shall be healed. Health to your navel. And morrow to your bones. Honor Hawa with your substance. And with the first fruits of all your increase. So shall your barns be filled with plenty. And your vats shall overflow with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of a wow. You're going through some chastening, man. You're getting corrected. A wise naga loves correction, man. You don't want to do it for you. You want to do it for them. You want to do it for the tribe, man. You want to do it for a wow. So that takes correction. That takes chastening. Despise it not. The chastening of Hawa. Neither spurn thou his correction. For whom Hawa loves, he corrects. Even as a father, the son. In whom he delights. It takes a lot to. Love correction takes a special heart, a special type of knock, a real one. But if you got a hard bone, man, to want to do right, to want to, you know, truly be in a place of clarity with yourself, with your creator, then you love when a while puts it straight to you man you you don't want nobody lying to you lying about your ways lying about your actions lying about your track record you want to see that clearly you want to say okay that's what it is i gotta get it better 
There's so many things. We got to get better at Drop Nation. I got to get better as Drop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We all got to get better, man. So don't despise when Hawa, you know what I'm saying, brings that wisdom to your front door, brings that correction to your face bone. Don't say, ah, oh, man, not again, man. Why, man? And we're all guilty of reacting like that sometimes, man. Why? You know, why am I going through this? Why does it keep happening to me? We in the Ruach Tarde Ma. There's a lot to learn. You coming out of a deep sleep, you want to be corrected. <laughs> coming out that sleep, you want to ask all the questions and get it right. Because you've been asleep a long time. Can't expect to wake up and be popping off perfectly, man. We gonna stumble around like a baby, like a baby. But only because that baby keeps stepping do those steps start to be straightened and straighter. But if the baby ain't trying, you're gonna be crawling for a long time. How long are you gonna be crawling, my night? So you gotta love correction. And to be corrected, you gotta try, you gotta keep trying. Don't give up. You're just giving up on yourself, man. Verse 13, Proverbs 3. Happy is the man that finds wisdom, that finds Ama. And the man that obtains understanding. Mama say, I am understanding in Proverbs chapter 8. The Akwa that ob obtains Ama, the Ak that obtains Ama, that finds Mama. Man, that's a happy Ak. That's a happy Akwa. Because you got the wisdom to be corrected. Hawa can delight in correcting you. You ever try to teach somebody something, but they don't want to learn nothing? They, they don't want to empty their cup. They just want to fight you and, and challenge you on every single, you know, bit of the teaching. Like, you know, whatever you're trying to do, you try to shoot a basketball, you know, someone trying to show you, but you're like, nah, nah, I feel like if I do this, man, you ain't ready to learn, bro. Aqua, you ain't ready to learn. <laughs> Hawa delights like a father, like a mother, you know, and a child that observes and appreciates the correction and doesn't fight the teaching. Keeping the code. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and gain, the gain thereof than fine gold. They're looking for the cities of gold, but the gaining of Amma, like it says on the Andrew's crest, Amma wisdom is the conqueror of fortune. Wisdom is the conqueror of fortune. <laughs> so which one do you want? You want the fortune or you want wisdom? You want the gold or you want Amma? You see, well, Amma, she going to lead you to the gold all the time. But if you just choose the gold, you might get jacked of all that gold and have nothing and no way to attain it because you got no ama, you got no wisdom. You got all that merchandise, you lose it. You got no way of getting it back because you got no ama, you got no wisdom. But if you got wisdom, now you know how to make it repeatable, observable, science. You know how to, you know, get this you know what I'm saying? As part of a, as a pattern of life, man. You got a pattern of living, a pattern of perfection. Someone can observe you and say, yeah, man, that's, that's what he do. That's what she do. You got a blueprint. You could pass that blueprint on. And your droplets can pass, pass that blueprint on, man. That's repeatable, observable science. That's Amma. You can only obtain Amma by keeping the call. That's it. The commandments of Abba. You can only obtain Abba, your protection, your security, your vibration, by keeping the call. Your breath is life, man. What does it say at the top? 
my son, my daughter. Forget not my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments for a length of days and years of life. And peace, Shalom, will they add to you by keeping a code, it adds Shalom. By keeping a code, it adds length of days. It adds breath because you get, ah, wow, you get that security, that foundational breath that's adding length of days and years of life and peace. Shalom, because you KTC, my naga. You think it's play play? Have you truly tried it before? Do you know a nation, a whole community of nagas that are truly trying it, my naga? That have truly tried it this whole time? Now you got nagas that, you know, they get a reflection, they get a duplication, they get a doctrine. A doctrine that leads them to another power. A doctrine that tells them to forget about their inheritance, to forget about their heritage as the remnant. That if they believe in the salvation of such and such, if they believe in this other doctrine, believe in whatever spirituality that excludes the main primary mem sauce. These are what, you know, these are the doctrines our, our, our family, our tribe are continuously up against, man. We have not put all that aside to KTC to keep the code, man. I ain't talking about even, you know, every single Levitical law and call. I'm talking about Exodus 20. Because none of that other stuff got you completely massacred. Deuteronomy 28, 15 to 68. You know what I'm saying? We worship false gods. You got no protection. It ain't about how much fringes you wear every day. You worshiping false gods, you got no protection. You got no scripture that says, because you're not wearing your fringes today, I'm going to take all your land from you and put you at the bottom. Nah, but because you worshiping idols, you already know. So we got to get this right before we get to everything we got after captivity, after we were rescued and saved, exodus out of Egypt. Then you get all these laws and, and the wilderness. We ain't even got to that point. We still in captivity. You want to get out? You got to put aside your false idols. Put aside your false gods, man. Your false powers. Your powers that are no powers. Stop killing each other, man. That's how you get back with your creator. Stop slaying your naga like your naga's an enemy, man. That's your brother. That's your sister. That's your tribe, tribe. You don't need to take what's theirs. You ain't got to steal from nobody, not your tribe. You ain't got to take from nothing because you got it all. You got to remember that. And Hawa will replace and replenish and refresh your life, man, when you remember that you already got it. No covetous. Get it out your heart bone. Stop being jealous of each other. Oh, such and such got more, you know, shine in me, attention in me, money than me, this and this. Their hair is this. Their outfit is that. Their car is that. Their house is that. Quit the covetous. Keep the cold. No adultery. Keep your oaths. Pure water. Honor your friend and your shaper your mother, your father. These are the things we come back to. No vanity, man. No false witnessing, man. We lift each other up. We keep our Shabbat, man. We keep the cult. You do that, you return to Hawaii. 
you get all your other codes and commandments and statutes in order, but this is the order to get to that point. To seek Hawa with all your heart, you're meditating on the law. You're meditating on the nine code, the spiral. Happy is the Naga that finds wisdom. Happy is the Naga that obtains understanding. Verse 14, for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all things that can't desire are not to be compared unto her. All the things thou canst desire, anything you can desire, nothing can be compared to Amma, to her, compared unto her. We talking wisdom, right? Happy is the Naga that obtains understanding, overstanding, understanding. You're going to have more gain than any gold in the whole world, man. <laughs> You'll see. Length of days is her in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. You get it all. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And all her paths are shallow. All her paths are peace, not their peace, not the hijacked version of peace where they got you in captivity. That's their peace. Your peace, man, where you're the head. You're the head. Managa, you are the head. Do you remember? She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is everyone that holds her fast. Hawa by wisdom founded the earth. What? Talking she, her, holds her fast, lays hold upon her. Nothing can be compared unto her. And with her, he founded the earth. If he needed her <laughs> wisdom to found the earth, then Managa, that's your mother, your father. In the book of Genesis, you know, when it's talking about uh, male and female created them, them, this plural is she and he. The Lord by wisdom, wisdom who gold and nothing you can, nothing you can desire can be compared to her riches and honor at her in her left hand and length of days is in her right hand and with her Wisdom, he, the Lord, <laughs> founded the earth. That's a team effort to found the earth. By wisdom, by Rashi, with wisdom, Genesis. By understanding, he established the heavens. That's her, because Proverbs 8 says, I am understanding. She is understanding. She is the first of his creations, Proverbs 8. And with her, he checked in, right? He got her, and they founded the earth, man. They created the earth, man. By wisdom, mama, he established the heavens, man. By his knowledge, the depths were broken up. And the skies drop down to do. Well, is it his knowledge? Because he it was just with her understanding. With her. <laughs> well, you know, these translators like to put a bunch of hisses when we're talking knowledge and understanding, right? So could it be his knowledge and her understanding? 
Either way, you're talking frame or shape. The skies drop down to do. You see how they create you? My son, let not them depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto your soul and grace to your neck. Then shall you walk in your way securely. And thou shalt not dash your foot when you lies down. Thou shalt not be afraid. Yeah. You shall lie down and your sleep shall be sweet. Sweet sleep for another. Allow what? Be not afraid of sudden terror. The news try to scare us every day. Sudden terror. Be not afraid of sudden terror. Neither of destruction of the wicked when it comes. For Hawa will be your confidence. And will keep your foot from being caught. Withhold not good from him to whom it is due. When it is in the power of your hand to do it. Say not unto your neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when you have it by you. Devise not evil against your neighbor, against your brother, against your sister. Don't start planning no evil trip on them. Don't start sliding on them, my naga, setting them up. An evil plan because of your hatred. This is out of cold. It will surely be the tale of this is how you rock and this is how you rolling. You're going to curse yourself, curse your family because this is how you are or are you going to change? Devise not evil against your neighbor, seeing he dwells securely by you. Strive not with a man what I'll cause. If he have done you no harm. And not going to do nothing to you. That naga's not the cause of your downfall. That naga's not plotting against you. So devise no evil against your naga. Don't strive with your naga without no cause. He ain't done, no, done you no harm. Envy thou not the man of violence and choose none of his ways. We envy, oh, how many bodies he got? Oh, he got 19 bodies. He's a real stepper. He's a real one. He's walking around shooting everybody. Envy not that Naga. Oh, he got all the he got all the drip because he stole it and jacked somebody and shot somebody for it. And you want to envy that? All the violence in the music, my Naga. You want to envy all that? How you slid all day? How you keep it score? How you up on the count? You got the whole world envying his violence? Choose none of his ways. For the perverse is an abomination to Hawa. That means Hawa don't like it. That means Hawa abhors it, hates this stuff, man. But his counsel is with the upright. The curse of Hawa is in the house of the wicked. You cursing yourselves, you cursing your families by being wicked. With all this death, all this plotting and scheming, hurting each other. All these powers you're bringing into your house, all this worship you're doing on these holidays. But he blessed the habitation of the righteous if it Concerns the scorners, he scorns them. But unto the humble, he gives grace. The wise shall inherit honor. Honor is your inheritance, my naga. They're going to have to honor you. Oh, yeah. They're going to fear your power. They will honor your inheritance forever. But as for the fools, they carry away shame. 
Allah wa Allah wa Proverbs chapter 16. The preparations of the heart are man's, but the answer of the tongue is from Hawa. The preparations of the heart are man's, but the answer of the tongue is from Hawa. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but Hawa weighs the Ruach. Commit your works unto Hawa, and your thoughts shall be established. Hawa has made everything for his own purpose, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Hawa. My hand upon it, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is expiated. And by the fear of Hawa, men depart from evil. When a man's ways please Hawa, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Wow. You got enemies? Do we got enemies? When my knocking, when you in cold, when your ways are pleasing to the creator, the creator makes even your enemies at peace with you. Your peace, not their peace. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with injustice. A man's heart devises his way, but Hawa directs his steps. You may plan something in your heart to devise, you know, your way, but check your intention because only Hawa can direct your steps properly, man. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth trespasseth not in judgment. A just balance and scales are hawaz, and all the weights of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness. For the throne is established by righteousness. The throne is established by the code. It's an abomination to the kings or to Hawa from the kings that are wicked. Which means it's all Baruch to Hawa. When the Khan is righteous, for the throne is established by righteousness, and righteousness is established by the code, by the commandments of Hawa. Righteous lips are the delight of kings, and they love him that speak right. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of later rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? To get understanding is rather to be chosen than silver. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keeps his way preserves his soul. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. Better is it to be a lowly spirit with the humble than to divide the spoils with the proud. He that gives heed unto the word shall find good and whoso trust in Hawa, happy is he. The wise in heart is called a man of discernment. And the sweetness of the lips increases learning. 
Understanding is a fountain of life unto him that has it. But folly is the chastisement of fools. The heart of the wise teaches his mouth and adds learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. There is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The hunger of the laboring man labors for him, for his mouth compels him. An ungodly man digs up evil and in his lips there is a burning fire. A forward man sows strife, and a whisperer separates familiar friends. We try to keep all these whisperers and murmurers far from us, man. Because all they do, all they want to do is start something, right? Sow some strife. Whispering this and whispering that. Separating familiar friends. A man of violence entices his neighbor and leads him into a way that is not good. He shuts his eyes. It is to devise forward things. He that biteth, biteth his lips brings evil to pass. You don't want to speak up. You want to say something. You don't want to give correction. It brings evil to pass. The hoary head is a crown of glory. It is found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that rules his spirit than he that takes a city. It's better to rule your spirit. It's better to rule your ruach. It's better to be in control before you talk about tribing up with someone else. And you're quick to get angry. You're quick to start tripping. <laughs> you're quick to start spreading, you know what I'm saying, strife, man. And just horrible frequency and interference patterns on a night. It's better that you slow to anger, man. That's better than being some mighty, mighty real one. And he that rules his spirit, her spirit, you rule yourself, you rule yourself, Aqua. Man, that's better than taking an entire city because you're in control. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of Hawa. It's for Hawa to redeem you. It's for Hawa to dispose. The lot has been cast. Is Hawa going to dispose it? Holy, or do we always have a remnant? This is a reading of Proverbs chapter 16 and Proverbs chapter 3. I pray that uh, somewhere in there you got uplifted, man. I know I did, you know, just reading, you know, with a heart bone that is, um, open and, you know, ready to continue, you know, a path of correction. To not front, you know, like, we got it all, like, I got it all, like, we, we need this, man. We have to keep our heart bones open, you know, to be framed and shaped. So, the water Hawaii for bringing these scriptures to me personally and, you know, for the opportunity to share it with you. My Naga, my tribe, tribe, it's truly an honor, man, to surf this wave, knowing you, building with you. You know, I've gotten so much inspiration and correction, you know, from Drive Nation, and it's the only reason why I'm here, that we're here, that our family's here. So I thank you forever, man, the water forever to you. You've contributed in so many ways, and that's the main one is your energy, your frequency, your vibration, you know, the wisdom that's coming from the tribe, you know, is amazing. And um, 
something very honorable, you know what I'm saying, that we got to and continue to, you know, experience and build on, man. So let's keep building, my naga, because Hawaii got the answers, you know. We can ask the right questions. Only Hawaii got the answer. The preparations of the heart are man's, but the answer of the tongue is from Hawaii. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, <laughs> but Hawa weighs the spirit. So commit your works unto Hawa, and your thoughts shall be established. The water to Managas, the water Hawa, allowing us to pop off in real time. Hey, Shalom to the tribe. Keep being real, keep doing real things and keep being real nagas. And that means you got a real purpose. It ain't no greater purpose than establishing and reestablishing and reestablishing the code within yourselves, within your family, your tribe, and spreading the vibe. Then we can enjoy the ride and surf the way. The water hawa for you, Drop Nation. We're grateful for each other. And we're grateful for the victory that is promised. Allah. Wah. Shalom.